and I still use the same interface. Like it was an I whatever interface for some service that I had inside of my monolith. And where I'm going with this is that my tool in particular is going to be accessing these interfaces. It's going to be able to talk to different, you know, microservices, if you will, or the different verticals, the plugins I have inside of my monolith through this interface. And to clarify, it doesn't have to go talk to my production server that's running in the cloud. It has the code with it already. It's going to be talking to the database that's in the cloud, but it doesn't have to connect out to my real server. So one of the reasons that I've structured the code the way that I have is because I want to have that reusability. Yes, I would say it's been overkill in many of the situations, but I like following some of these patterns, sometimes to an extreme, just to see where their limits are. And so far, it hasn't been that hectic for me, and there's been situations, just like this one I'm going to show you, where it's paid off really well. All right, so to make a little password resetting tool, all that I'm doing is asking for the email that we want to look up for the client. From there, I'm going to generate a password automatically, and when we do that, I'm going to set the password using this API, and you can see that I'm calling this authentication client try set password async method. As I was just explaining, this is the API, this client API for my authentication vertical slice. The same thing right here when I'm generating the password, I'm asking that authentication client to be able to do that for me. But this tool is super simple. 